Stop posting your shit on your own Facebook. That's not where you build your brand. Too many times I'm working with companies who think that they're going to start off and make a huge impact by leveraging their personal friends and their connections on any sort of social platform. And the biggest, the biggest culprit of this is Facebook, your personal Facebook account, where you have all of these friends that you've built over the years that you've connected from the early days at school, all the way through your career, friends, family, whatever it is. I don't know what the exact stat is, but I can almost guarantee that they are not your target audience. And the reason for this is the people within your personal circle are such a mix of type of people that if you were to try to actually segment all of it, you'd probably end up with five, six, maybe even 10 different segments. So let's think about that for a second. Because you have family on there, immediately you have numerous generations, at least two, probably four, grandparents, parents, aunts and uncles, yourself, siblings and cousins, and your nieces and nephews, somewhere in between two and four. So right there from a demographic perspective, you know that you don't have the buying power between these people just based on their age bracket. Second, you know that when you're trying to build something, you're going to need a promotional tool. Your personal Facebook account does not have the ability for you to push outside of your network. While you do have the permission for you to market to the people that were within your network that you've actually connected with as friends, you don't have the ability to get outside of that. You're actually losing a lot of data and a lot of insights about what type of people are responding to your message by doing it on your personal account. So stop it. Third, the ability for you to grow and to solidify yourself and actually be recognized as a brand, whether you're building it personally or whether you're building it as um, as a company, as a startup, you're launching whatever it is. Talked a little bit about time management in one of the previous vlogs, I'll link to it below, about being able to productize you in terms of managing your time and being from an hourly wage to actually freelancing and having um, a productized service, which is fantastic. But the second that you do that, you have to learn that even before that, sorry, you should be branding yourself. You really need to brand yourself. And because of that, it takes having a page, a Facebook page. Your Twitter account should be separate. Your LinkedIn, you should not on LinkedIn ever have your company logo as your profile picture. That is the wrong place. The name on LinkedIn should be your name. It shouldn't be your company's name. And again, it's the same thing. You don't have the same audience power by having those connections. So here's a really big difference that I look at the way audience is. A connection that I have in my personal network has typically been built one-on-one -on -one in a personal setting or some sort of high amount of engagement. The audience, on the other hand, can be drawn on a much larger scale because the level of engagement is lower to start with. So when you have an audience that's there, the amount of people that are watching this video are going to be more than the amount of subscribers that are there in general, that are more subscribers than the people who actually reach out and connect through an email, through a mention, through some sort of social share, the level of engagement that you have will be smaller numbers of people for the higher engagement amount that it takes, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense because it's true. And so that's where you get your personal network is much smaller and much tighter knit than your overall audience. But when you're in the shoes like me, which I know a lot of people are, you have a very strong network. And how do you translate that to being an audience? That is a big problem because we know that it takes the volume of the audience in order to really build something strong in order to have a really strong brand presence. So I've got a couple of tips. I've got a couple tips that I'm applying right now. And if this is completely wrong or if it needs to be changed, I'll amend it in a future vlog. But this is what I'm doing right now to expand my presence and build the audience. So just finished that meeting. I'm out of the underground parking lot now and uh, just wanted to 
check in. Um, you know, a lot of times that I mentioned that there's great energy coming out of meetings, but on the other hand, there's also some times where it's just a toll. And today is one of those days where it just seems like getting hit with one thing after another. And uh, yeah, so it feels like uh, I'm going to be buried under a lot of uh, stuff to do that's never fun. But when I know that it's part of the path towards the goals that we're trying to accomplish, um, there are things that just have to be done. So on to the next. I'll check in later on. Girl. Girl.